let me introduce you to the Talon TH9. In the 1980s, we introduced the world to carbon fibre hockey sticks. In the last 10 years, not much has happened. So we think it's time to shake things up again. So we're bringing you this. This is the world's first hockey stick where you can change. You can change the weight, you can change the balance, and you can change the length. Let's face it, spending five minutes in a hockey shop knocking a hockey ball around is a pretty poor way to select a hockey stick. So once you own it, it's yours and you're stuck with it. So if it's a little bit short, a little bit long, a little bit heavy, there's not much you can do. Now for the first time you're going to be able to do something about it. You can take the Talon TH9 and you can change these variables. You have a joint at the end of the handle. This can be extended or reduced up to two inches. It's a relatively easy change and you'll see a video to this effect on our website. The other feature, which is more complex, is the weight change. Here you'll see your access port. If you open this port, it enables you to induct weight. And the way we induct weight is with a silicon carbide powder. The silicon carbide powder has two points. One, it can be done infinitely variable. So you don't have like a fixed weight, you can add tiny little bits of weight or up to two ounces of weight. The other thing about the silicon carbide powder is that it's mobile. So it gives you a dynamic weight. We did some very early work about 20 years ago looking at this. And what we found was the dynamic weight in hockey is extremely effective. So essentially what you have, in this head now, you have a weight that can change position. So as you move the stick from its down up position to swing down to hit the ball, that weight moves to the back of the stick. At the point of impact with the ball, that weight comes forward and hits the forward face of the cavity inside the stick. And what this does is it increases the stick to ball time. And what that enables is more energy transfer to the ball. You get more power, less effort, less effort, better control. The other thing it does for hockey, which is fairly unique, because hockey, unlike most impact sports, you're actually half the game is receiving the ball. So you want to control the ball on, on, at the point of reception. The, as the ball comes in to impact the stick, it moves the weight from a static position to the back to the forward face, and that absorbs a lot of energy. As a result, you get a lot less ball bounce. You can see this in a, in a dead blow hammer. If you do any sheet metal work, you'll see that they use hammers with moving weights for this very purpose, to stop the bounce. So in summary, this is one of the best carbon fiber sticks we can make. But the real change is having variable weight induction and to be able to change the length. So for the first time, you're going to be able to tune a stick to exactly what you want outside the shop.